All right, so today I got it on a card here. How to burn off excess body fat without doing specific cardio. This shift will actually burn off love handles while building muscle and making you stronger. I don't know if you can see I'm walking by the fancy tennis courts here. I forget the fancy name, but it's quite the tennis tennis spot. Anyways, so uh, this is uh, in regards to looking through the EMAG page, like when you go to my website uh, for the EMAG that I put out, I don't know, twice weekly, monthly, whatever, Just <laughs> whenever I get something cool, I have a bunch of bullet points of stuff that I cover. <clears throat> so this is the first one. And I want to, under the no hype, just facts, sort of banner, see if we can cover this. So, how to burn off excess body fat without doing specific cardio. Okay, so the first thing I would say, <clears throat> if you have access to a barbell, that's where we'll start because, uh, actually I'm just gonna stop. Uh, if we have access to a barbell, then we can do things called complexes. And complexes are awesome because it allows you to train in a resistance type fashion sort of way but in a circuity sort of way, which really elevates your heart rate. And so now done too heavy and too quickly, you go anaerobic, still not a problem because you burn a ton of calories really quickly. Done at a slower pace with a moderate heart rate, you're gonna elevate it. Then it becomes sort of like card cardio, um, anaerobic versus aerobic. But the bottom line is still is that if the more calories you burn, the more fat you're gonna burn off. Yeah. To a point depending like <laughs> wow this just got really complicated and that's why you make bullet points on on your on your landing page because if you're in a fasted state or say you're 20 minutes into cardio then you're gonna go right to fat burning um, but <clears throat> if you're well fed and your glycogen stores are full uh, then whatever activity you do is going to be running off of those stores first so that's the preferred quick energy right so <laughs> kind of depends when you do it and um, when you do it and how fed you are like your um, uh, you know like when uh, wrestlers cut and stuff like that and they're in a depleted state they make a UFC weigh-in then they go eat a bunch of carbs fill up on whatever the water that accompanies it I think it's uh, four grams of carbs per gram of uh, four grams of water per gram of carbs I think you get on a reload I'm not sure about that but it's at any rate for every gram of carbs you eat you you suck in a lot of water which is why the low carb diets give you such a kickback uh, in the very beginning but anyway back to the main point burning off body fat <clears throat> without specific cardio um, <clears throat> so complexes so complex would be like uh, you do you grab the bar, you do five deadlifts, then you do five cleans, five front squats, five overhead push presses, five back squats, and then five bent over rows, all with the bar without letting it go. Then you take <clears throat> a break, and you the break can be, um, well, it depends on whether you want to try to keep your heart rate up for long and get a lot of calories in a short period of time, or if you want to do it like a high intensity interval training thing. Um, but you can also go by tracking your heart rate. What's the takeaway from all that information? The takeaway is that you can easily get um, overwhelmed and then stuck in analysis paralysis on that sort of stuff because when you're, if your heart rate stays high for as long as you can, great, you burned a ton of calories in a short period of time. Uh, something like, uh, what's it called, a Tabata protocol. Um, 20 seconds on, 10 off uh, for usually eight rounds. That's a great way to bang out a lot of work in a short period of time. Heart rate stays elevated for a long time after, you burn a lot of calories, great. Uh, but then you have somebody that goes out, say on specific cardio, which is what we don't wanna do, which is the point of this bullet, this topic that I cover in the EMAG. Um, that would be going out and say, going at like 70, 70, 60, 70%, whatever. A manageable heart rate where you can continue on for say whatever 30 minutes an hour that's steady-state cardio that's not what we're talking about 
So we have complexes. Technically, technically, if you were to wear a heart rate monitor and you looked at your heart rate after you did even just one set of say normal squats or any any big movement um, with a sorry significant enough weight to challenge you if you looked at your heart rate after it'd be really elevated right and then it would start on a decline down and it probably wouldn't quite get back to your resting because you know you're still under duress but you could get yourself a minute at least of rest after a set before your heart rate gets down to a manageable level where you're breathing normally what is that that's high intensity interval training so you can do it with a barbell you can do it with sprints um, you want to elongate the amount of time that you're going to keep your heart rate elevated like let's make a comparison you do a hundred meter sprint you see how ripped those guys are right short burst 10 seconds ish depending on what cried or what level of sprinter you're looking at uh, and then like rests right could be anywhere from two three minute rest depending spike all out rest spike all out rest high intensity interval training but now take a look at a 400 meter runner uh, so we're talking like a Ben Johnson versus a Usain Bolt kind of, well, I mean, let's, say, let's go Carl Lewis. I'm older. <laughs> uh, look at the frame differences. Um, longer sustained periods of activity like that, they're not quite as conducive to um, maximal muscle. Um, it's just an efficiency thing and um, certain types of body types gravitate towards being able to have sustained outputs for long periods of time which is another point meaning you're going to want to base your cardio like effectiveness is great but um, like what works for you like let's say you're a really m muscular but have a lot of body fat on because you were a you were a high school linebacker <clears throat> and uh now, I mean, it just seems insane for you to try to go out and run laps. Cool, that's exactly what I'm talking about right now. We should do barbell complexes. Or, what I was trying to get to a minute ago. <coughs> yeah, I got a little bit of a cold. And yeah, I got tested. And yeah, I'm waiting for the results. Um, so, is to instead of just doing one set of squats but let's let's pick something that you can do antagonistic like uh antagonistic muscle groups like uh, chest and back so that's the one we'll use since i just said it let's just say you do a big set of dips i like dips better than bench ask me why in the comments below um let's just say you do a big set of dips you're breathing like crazy and all that well you think you could take a break and, and you could but if you wanted to keep burning out calories, but still be stimulating muscle growth without running into the too long of a period of work, like say a 400 meter runner, right? Or 800, let's take it a bit further so I don't have to deal with a whole bunch of comments. But uh, <clears throat> you go dips, and then let's say you smash some bent over rows, or let's just say your body weight training and you go chins. You've worked opposing muscle groups or antagonistic for fancy. Um, agonistic, antagonistic. So what happens is chest rests, back works. Now you could take a you could take a uh, a rest now, and you'd have roughly usually 20 to 30 seconds per set, I would say, give or take, depending on your rep ranges. You've got almost a minute of <clears throat> all-out activity, but that's on your whole system. But on each individual muscle, you've got a shorter term, uh, <clears throat> uh, shorter term time. How am I trying to say this? Of exertion, that's the one I should say. Of exertion. Then you could take a rest if you wanted to to let your heart rate come back down depending on your goals. Or like, because you could be going for fat burning or max weight, mass, whatever. Or you could just jump right back and do chest again if you didn't mind using a little bit of less weight because of your cardio capacity. So 
going back to the main point, shit, I went over 10 minutes. Ah, yes, you can do it. No hype, just facts fitness. Okay, bye.